Hey everyone, Jamie with Sell for 1% here with the broker Dave Barlow, Mike Hopper, and Jason Barlow, who has a term of the week for us this week. And Jay, would you mind getting into that for us? Welcome back to another episode of Jason Barlow's term of the week, 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 week. week. brought to you by Sell for 1%. And our goal here is to educate and empower our clients by breaking down important real estate terms and concepts. Today, we're gonna to discuss Ohio's dual agency law and why we all here have made the conscious decision to not practice dual agency. So let's dive in. First, let's briefly review the Ohio dual agency law. Dual agency occurs when a real estate agent represents both the buyer and the seller in the same transaction. In Ohio, dual agency is allowed, but only with the informed consent of both the buyer and the seller who are involved. While dual agency on its face seems like a convenient and an easy way to streamline communications and negotiations, it raises some serious ethical concerns. Most notably, it's difficult for a real estate agent to fully advocate for the best interest of both parties in a transaction where they represent both people. Here itself, 1%, we have chosen not to practice dual agency for a few key reasons. First and foremost, we believe that our clients deserve our undivided loyalty and attention. We're dedicated to advocating for your best interest, which can be compromised in a dual agency situation. Second, the potential for earning double commissions in a dual agency transaction also creates a conflict of interest. We believe that our focus should be always on providing the best possible service to our clients not on maximizing our own financial gain. And lastly, we want to ensure that our clients have complete confidence in our ability to represent their interest. By avoiding dual agency, we maintain our commitment to ethical practices, and we ensure our clients feel secure in the knowledge that we are working solely on their behalf. In conclusion, while Ohio's law does permit agents to represent both buyers and sellers in the same transaction, we itself 1% believe that our responsibility is to our clients is best served by avoiding dual agency. Our commitment to ethical practices and putting our clients first is really what sets us apart in the real estate industry here in Columbus, Ohio. Thank you for joining us for this team for this week's term of the week. If you have any questions about dual agency or any other real estate topic, don't hesitate to reach out to the guys here at Self for 1%. We're here to help you navigate the real estate process with confidence and integrity. See you next week for another informative term of the week. Week, 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 week.